Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to yet another video. If you're a returning subscriber, then thank you so much for visiting my channel once again. If you're new to this channel, then my name is Suleiman. I'm making tech review and especially making videos on uh, photo and video gear. In this video, I will show you how to properly balance any zoom lens like this uh, with your Webless or any gimbal. In this video, I will show you how to balance this lens. This is Sigma 24 to 105. It's Canon mount. It's very heavy and I'm adopting it with uh, my uh, Sony a7 III with the help of MC11 adapter. This is a heavy lens, so uh, but still we can balance it with the uh, Webel S. Uh, Webel S is a small little compact but very powerful uh, gimbal. You can balance any lens with uh, any sort of uh, gimbal, uh, but still the, uh, the motor should be strong enough. Nowadays, most of these gimbals have a very really strong motor. The main problem with these gimbals are that uh, once we balance uh, our camera, we cannot make any adjustment. Uh, by adjustment, I mean we cannot uh, make any movement to the camera or uh, lens because a small little shift of weight can throw off your uh, gimbal balance. But in this video, I will show you uh, how to properly balance and use uh, your zoom lens all the way from 24 to 105, steady with a perfect uh, shoot. Uh, the good thing is that if you're using uh, any zoom lens with uh, your gimbal, it's giving you a nice um, cinematic and pleasing shot, especially compressing your background and giving a good parallax shot. At the end of this video, I will show you some of the footage which I use with this setup. So um, let's start this. Okay, the first thing we have to do, make sure the camera uh, battery is in. Take off the cap and remove the sun hood. Uh, if you really don't need it. I'm recommending to not use this one because a small weight in the front of the camera can uh, create uh, a big changes. So this uh, camera is ready and I will show you the first thing. Uh, if you can see this uh, camera and this lens uh, uh, is not uh, parallel. Uh, by parallel, I mean like uh, the lens is wider and uh, that's why I add uh, camera riser. So this camera riser is coming with uh, your Webel S or um, Ronin S also have a camera riser. If your gimbal don't have any camera riser, try to use any sort of cheese plate or anything else to rise your camera. If you put our camera uh, on a Webel S quick release plate without any camera riser, it will damage our lens mount uh, because uh, the side is much wider so it will put lots of pressure on our lens mount. The first thing you have to attach our quick release plate to the camera make sure that do not start it do not put it from the start from here uh, give it a little push here so it will give the camera a little more room to uh, put it backward. Okay now we have to lock all our motors if if you're using any gimbal that you're not able to lock your motors, then it's okay. Lock on the motors, so in this way, it will be easy for us to uh, properly balance the gimbal. Okay, I attach the camera uh, to the gimbal, and if you can see, it's not balanced, and it's hitting the back motor. I'm removing the eye cap because it can give me a little more space. Make sure to put your lens somewhere in the middle, like in for, for this video, I will put it on 50 mm because uh, it's a middle point. So in this way, I can go all the way from 24. So it's on 50 mm. And now I will try to balance my tilt axis. I'm losing this. I'm losing this knob here. And this one also put it a little upward and now I will try to push this I will make a small changes like here it's uh, look perfect I will lock this and see how it's, it's still it's a little front heavy but actually it's not front heavy you have to lose it and put it all the way back and Put your camera like this and try to balance it this way if it's going this way so it means it's bottom heavy it's going upward it means it's top heavy so now it's bottom heavy we have to move this a little upward 
think it's too much you can see it's staying here it's not touching the back motor it's not touching the back motor here and the reason I told you guys to put uh, this quick release plate a little uh, forward so it will give you a little more room and it will really help to balance uh, your tilt uh, motor so once this one is uh, balanced now we have to balance this motor we have to release this knob I have to shift it on the left side make small little changes and keep it like this still I need some more okay now it's perfect locking this knob okay now it's uh, balanced but the last thing we have to do is we have to balance this motor I will lose this knob try to do it left or right okay it's going this way then you have to make it a little forward and if it's going this way then you have to make it a little backward let me unlock all the motors and now it's time to turn on the gimbal if after turning on your gimbal uh, you are getting any vibration then you have to go to your gimbal menu and increase or decrease the motor strength so now it's uh, perfectly balanced if you can see it's completely balanced and now when i zoom in i'm not facing any problem so the gimbal is working so perfectly and i can do some parallax shot and uh, the same thing when i go all the way to 24 Let's zoom out it's uh, working perfectly again zoom in even in briefcase mode it's working perfectly even if I zoom out and also I uh, use this setup and this technique with my uh, uh, sorry with my uh, Ronin S and I will show you some of the shots behind the scene of uh, Ronin S Ronin S is a little more powerful than this one but this one is also perfect uh, gimbal with this setup this is a really heavy setup it's like 24 to 105 with sigma mc11 adapter sony a7 III and uh, zooming in all the way it's working perfectly and one more thing i will tell you if in any situation you need to use your sun hood uh, like if you are in a sunny environment so it's working it's not uh, giving any problem Okay guys, if uh, this video uh, gave you some information or if this video really helped you, um, I would really appreciate your subscription, like the video and press the bell icon in order to be notified on my upcoming video. And let's see some of the shots which I um, did with this uh, setup.